So knowing muscles line of pull influence how they act in different movements. So that is also loosely because of their pination angle. When you put them in a different line of pull, you give them a better angle to work from or a worse angle to work from. Their fibers move and the angle and the line of pull changes, sometimes for the betterment, sometimes worse. In this, even though the bicep has very little pination angle, every time someone gets down to about here, no one wants to let it extend. As soon as it extends, that origin insertion become just that little bit too far away that it's a huge lever for the bicep to pull up. So you'll see anyone in the gym, they come to about here, they do this, they go again. That is really nice for the bicep because it uses its origin rather than its insertion to move the bar. It doesn't like using that elbow position. It prefers to use its shoulder far more. Every muscle has these biases. They all have different things they try and cheat. When you do leg curls and you get to that position where the hamstring goes, mm -mm, way too close to my origin insertion, you know what I can do? I can arch my back and I create a longer origin insertion, far nicer. So that's why people, when they curl, they get to a sticking point and their back arches and they try and finish it off. Exact same when I'm using the old Instagram model kickback. They get to about here and the glute says, fuck, like I'm way too close together. So instead, they just arch their back. They feel like they've got extension, but their glutes manage to cheat them. Every muscle does it. Knowing why they do it and what each muscle does, very important when you want to try and isolate to grow or to improve strength.